everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a mostly real-time yet succinct video showing you a close-up look at how I paint animal eyes. In this demo, you're watching me paint the eye of a Hungarian dog breed called a Vizsla. I'm using Schmincke watercolors and a Pentel Aquash brush inside of a Be Creative cotton sketchbook. All of the supplies that I've used will be listed in the description below this video. This is somewhat of a visual tutorial, though I won't be narrating it step by step. For that, I actually have a really exciting announcement, and that is that I finally posted my brand new Skillshare class called How to Draw and Paint Animal Eyes in Watercolor. This is a class that I have been dying to make ever since before I even joined Skillshare as a teacher, as you all know that I absolutely adore painting animal eyes more than anything else in the world, and this was a true passion project for me. Although I am using this video as a bit of an advertisement for that class, I did paint this dog eye specifically for all of you here on YouTube, meaning he is not in the class itself. What you will find in the class is a discussion on eye anatomy, characteristics of different animal eyes, and four real-time narrated demonstrations with minimal editing. I won't go into all the details here, but after this painting wraps up, there will be a trailer for the class if you want to stick around and see a little bit more about it before joining the platform. If you are not already a member of Skillshare, I'll also leave a link in the description that will give you two months free to try the platform out. That link also helps to support me as a content creator both here on YouTube and over on Skillshare. I do hope that you enjoy this painting and that the real-time footage helps you to glean some information about my painting techniques even if you're not interested in taking the full class on the other platform. In unrelated news before I go, I just wanted to let you all know that I will be traveling over the next couple of weeks. The final video in the Let's Learn series will be coming at you next Tuesday, but after that I will not have any pre-recorded videos ready to air. However, to make up for that, I will be doing some live streams while I'm away. I'm tentatively planning for those to be Fridays, February 1st and 8th, though that may need to change depending on how the schedule plays out. Be sure to check back on the community tab here on YouTube for any updates regarding those. I hope to see you over in the Skillshare classroom and in the live chats during those streams, but until next time, happy painting!
expression goes that the eyes are the window to the soul, and I believe that extends beyond humans and applies to other species as well. Hello, my name is Denise Soden, and over the last 15 years, I've been a zoo educator, animal photographer, and wildlife watercolorist. Throughout that time, I've always been most drawn to the eyes of my subject, more so than anything else, regardless of the medium. While my passion for creating animal portraits fills quite a specific niche, this connection that I feel with animals through their expressions, as well as my background in zoo education, has allowed me to uniquely hone in on some of the important features that distinguish animals from species to species. Most of the classes that I've seen here on Skillshare are naturally and understandably geared towards studying human eyes. While we'll start this class by identifying the anatomy of the eyes most familiar to us, we will then be able to explore beyond humans and discover a wide range of features belonging to other mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians to see what makes each unique. In this class, I'll show you my basic technique for approaching just about any vertebrate animal eyes, we'll study examples of things to look for in your reference material, and then I'll walk you through not one, but four detailed watercolor demonstrations of different types of animal eyes. From wild pupil shapes to facial differences, we'll learn how to identify and recreate these special features that makes each animal recognizable at first glance. For your class project, you'll choose at least one of these demos to follow along with me, or you can even pick your own species that calls to you specifically and apply those same skills. I cannot wait to see all of the different eyes that we can come up with from the whole of the animal kingdom, so let's go ahead and get started.